This is the Lo-Fi Loop Junkie. Low fidelity looper. It records up to 20 seconds in a pseudo-analog fashion. Uh, in fact, it sounds so analog you'd think that it's a terrible cassette recorder. Maybe your dad's old 8-track. It also has vibrato. There's depth and speed controls for the, for the vibrato of the uh, loop itself. Right now, uh, we've got a little sample that's been recorded in here. Let me show you how the bypass button works. This is labeled start. It's also the bypass switch. And when you turn it on, you'll hear the beginning of the sample kick in. And you can start it from the beginning anytime you want. There was a bit of a bad seam there, but you could hear where it kicked in and did the loop again. And when it did, there was a little red flash there. We'll see that again soon. Um, the record button turns on that red light as well. So while you're recording, you can see it lit. If you go over the 20 seconds, the red light goes out. This is a safe switch, which lets you save anything you've recorded in it that you really like. And you can actually put it in safe mode so that it won't record. And you can take it to the gig, and it will remember what you last recorded. Even if you have to take the battery out, it'll still remember what was last recorded in it. This is the volume of the playback, tone of the playback, record level of the, play, of the uh, actual recording of the sample, and the depth and speed of vibrato. Uh, there is a vibrato on it on playback, which can make it sound very interesting. Let's try recording something at a higher range in the guitar so we can hear the sort of music box quality you get from the lo-fi loop chunky. Maestro? some vibrato to it, crank up the depth, you can hear the sort of warped record quality at this point, and if Eric would care to, he can play something uh, like a bass line below it. So that's kind of interesting. Um, this thing is is uh, fun to play with when you turn up the speed and depth, and you can actually create a sort of chorusing sound, not even setting the depth up to full or setting the speed up to full, but just enough to make it go in and out of pitch with what you're playing. And if you play along identically with it, you'll hear it, it choruses quite dramatically. Why don't you play the high part again, Eric, uh, and I'll start from it. Top here. discern which one is the real one and which is the uh, recording quite easily with this. If you don't like the detail in the top end, you can make it very dull, which makes it even easier to hear what the original guitar sounds like. When it's in safe mode, it's impossible to record. And just to be dramatic, I'm going to make a popping noise here. Unplug from it so it's completely dead. You'll see that it's no longer alive at all. When I plug it back in, sample's still going. So that's the Lo-Fi Loop Junkie.